friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to apply a napkin onto a flat surface using an iron. So this is another one of those um, ways that you can apply a decoupage napkin onto a surface so that you don't get any creases. Um, returning viewers will already know that my preferred method of applying a napkin is using a lot of water. If you don't know what I'm talking about then check out the link in the description below uh, or this card here um, in which I explain what my favorite method of napkin application is but I do find that this ironing method also has its place to be and also has its uses um, so for example last summer I had to do a project where I decoupaged some large MDF letters for a friend's wedding and I had to use a whole napkin for it so it was really hard for me to apply something that's this big onto a surface um, so that's where I used ironing method and until I mastered my water application method I um, also just like to use an iron so either way um, all you're gonna need for this method is your decoupage glue this will only work on a flat surface so you need something that has a flat surface in this case I'm gonna be applying this napkin onto the roof of this birdhouse um, you're gonna need a flat brush acrylic brush, some baking paper and an iron. This is a plywood birdhouse that I bought um, in the works. Um, it's just one of those little wooden craft shapes, decorate your own birdhouse. And I've applied two coats of chalk paint onto this roof and I give it a little sanding so that it's nice and smooth. So it's looking like this. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is take my Mod Podge And without even applying any water onto my brush, I just pick up Mod Podge and I apply a nice even coat onto where I want my napkin to be. make sure that I cover everything and so I turn it against the light so that I can see that all of the areas are covered that's very important and now I'm gonna let it dry so normally I would just let it dry naturally so air dry but I'm on a bit of a time crunch today I don't really have a lot of time so I'm gonna use a hairdryer on the lowest heat setting preferably even on a cold setting and just get it dry so now my Mod Podge is dry I am ready to apply my napkin so what I have here is this lovely blue pattern and I'm only going to need a half of this napkin so I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to separate the layers of the napkin so I take the two other layers off so that I'm only left with the layer that actually has the print on it and so the plan is for it to go kind of on like so it is important to place your napkin down with the right side up. Now I'm gonna cut out a piece of my baking paper. And the baking paper is gonna go over your napkin so that your iron doesn't stick to the napkin. And I have my iron. So I've preheated mine to the lowest setting. So on my iron, I do not actually have numbers on it. it um, I go by colors. So the blue one is the lowest color that I have here. So I'm gonna use that. The heat of the iron might be something that you will have to experiment with. So people that I've learned this method from tend to say that on a normal iron, um, somewhere between one and a half and two is the best type of heat. But because mine doesn't have uh, um, numbers on it um, I've had to experiment with mine so um, I found that the lowest one works the best and I hold it like that because it's a roof <laughs> and it's kind of triangular it's not the best it's not the best shape for me to 
demonstrate this on, but I don't really have anything else at the moment. So here's what we're working with. <laughs> and so I press down my napkin and I press down my baking paper and I start pressing down my iron. So what happens is as you apply your iron, obviously it's heated up. So the heat reactivates the glue and and at the same time it straightens out your napkin. And so as your napkin straightens out, it sticks to the glue. And, and it helps it stay in place. So you want to lift your paper off and check. See, it's not it's not coming off. I'm trying to well, obviously I'm not pulling it hard, but it's not coming off. So I'm just going to go over the whole thing and you really just want to go make sure that you do it really well. So you don't want to press too hard so that you don't break your your craft shape or whatever you are decorating. But you also don't want to be like not putting any effort into it whatsoever so that it does actually glue it down and straighten it out. And you want to pay extra attention to the sides. And make sure that those are all sticking together. So now that it's glued down, before I can seal it, I need to wait for it to cool down a little bit. So while I'm waiting, I'm just going to take a little bit of sandpaper. What I have here is um, a little bit of 120 grit. And in this kind of downward motion, I'm going to sand off the excess napkin. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I put on the napkin onto the roof of my little birdhouse. Um, a couple of hours because I did not get the chance to finish this in just one take. And so I'm going to apply my water-based varnish. So this is the varnish that I'm using. This is Decorator's Varnish by Polyvine. Um, you could also just use your Mod Podge, the same Mod Podge that you applied under the napkin. I personally prefer using varnish because I find that the thinner the glue or varnish whatever I'm using to seal it with um, is the the better the outcome is. Um, I've had a few times where I've used this ironing technique and when I go to to seal my napkin it starts bubbling up and so I personally think it's because the glue that I apply is too thick. Can't guarantee that for sure but so far since I've started using varnish to seal it and preferably the thinner the varnish the better I have not had that issue so that's what I stick to I just now use varnish so I'm just going to pick a little bit up um, with my brush and I'm just going to go like that and apply my varnish over the top And this is what's going to seal your napkin because the napkin is very thin it, the varnish just kind of goes straight through it and it seals it in there so if you're going to use mod podge or whatever decoupage glue that you have to seal your napkin with i would recommend watering it down quite a bit to a very watery consistency and then once that is dried then you can apply just a layer of normal glue or whatever it is that you're using so there you go it's finished so i'm now going to apply a few more layers of varnish after it's completely dry and decorate the rest of the birdhouse if you would like to see how i decorate the rest of the birdhouse there is going to be a video coming soon hopefully at some point next week um, but yeah so i hope that this will help some of you 
get rid of those really annoying creases that we all get when we start decoupaging and let me know if it has helped you if you have any more helpful tips and tricks for others that are looking to try out this technique also leave those in the comments if you would like to ask me a question or if you have any suggestions for what you would like me to do next then please leave those in the comment section down below all of my social media links are in the description below as well you can check out my etsy shop also link in the description below and subscribe for more videos and i will see you in the next one Bye-bye.